Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Glacial Geek Kill Team Battle Report. I am Phil the Glacial Geek, coming to you here from Savannah Line Games in Pooler, Georgia, where I'm about to fight a kill team battle between my Reavers and Harris's Orcs, or should I say, Gretchen. Uh, so the story that we've got going on here is that this on this planet uh, had had a uh, an Orc infestation that had been fought off by the Imperial forces on this planet, including the forces of the Dark Angels, uh, to fight back, and they had been successful in beating uh, back the Wa, um, as it had been uh, building ahead of steam, and now they had moved into the second portion of any battle against the orcs, which is cleaning up the remnants of the infestation, because if you leave any of those spores around, they will uh, inevitably come back and cause more problem uh, years or generations even down the line. So, the Dark Angel a, a squad of Reavers was sent into this sector of uh, this city to go handle uh, an infestation of a smaller variety than your usual than they're usually used to uh, of green skins here um, that had organized themselves and had been fighting a resistance battle against the Imperial uh, defenders of this planet. And the Reavers were tasked with taking them out and making sure that they were no longer a problem. Uh, so that's going to be the story. Uh, the mission that we are going to be playing is Domination, which comes from the core rule book um, of the new Kill Team 2021. Essentially, there are five objectives on the table here. Um, you can do an action on each of these uh, if you are within a uh, circle of the objective and control the objective for one AP. Uh, that will basically claim that objective for you until your opponent uh, does an act, does the action on that on, on that objective. Um, and then at the end of each turning point, you score VPs. Uh, if two or more objective markers are claimed by your kill team, you score one VP. And that's what claiming is. This uh, action was called claiming, uh, claiming ground. Um, uh, you score one VP. If more markers are claimed by your kill team than your opponent's kill team, you score one VP. Um, and for each objective marker in your opponent's drop zone that is claimed by your kill team, you score one VP. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, we've got we're going to be really up close and personal with this. It should be interesting going back and forth. We also have our secondaries here. So um, we do know that this is not a legal kill team here, but we wanted to give it a shot anyway. So we did keep it to 20 models, though. So he's going to have 19 Gretchen and a boss a boss Gretchen, which was going to be played as a boss knob um, for the uh, for this game here. Um, and essentially, we know that you're, uh, by the reading of it, so... By the reading of it, looks to us that you can only take two per fire team of orcs, of boys that you take. So each boy's fire team can only have, because you can switch one boy for two grots. Um, but we decided to see what would happen if you switched all the boys for two grots, uh, and then minus one to keep it at a twenty man. So it's a twenty man. So it's a full roster of operatives. Because yeah, because we're not monsters. <laughs> we follow some rules. <laughs> When it's convenient for us and not funny uh, is when we will follow the rules. Uh, so we decided to give this a shot just to see why, you know, because I'm sure there's probably a balance issue. I mean, the idea of a gajillion grots doing their thing does seem like it could be very overwhelming for like a five-man squad. Like I've got 15 total AP here. I think you have a total of, what is that, 30, yeah, 40, 40 total APL. They're all two APL. Um, so it's like 40 to 15 APL. Um, so I can see how that could be a problem. Uh, yeah, but we'll see how that goes as they start going down because each of these guys can be like one-shotted by my guys uh, fairly easily. So we'll see how, how the, uh, the, the war of attrition uh, goes out with all of these guys here. So, um, But yeah, so we're going to give it a shot, see what happens. I mean, it's all about having fun, playing with the models that you want to play with, and just having a good time. So that is uh, what we've got here for the armies. Uh, that's what we've got for the story. That's what we got for the mission. Before we go any further, let's show you the two kill teams that are going to be fighting it out. So for the Dark Angels, I'll be running a Reaver fire team. And for the Orcs, we're going to do Oops All Gretchen. Okay, so those are the kill teams going over our uh, deployment here. I've got my Reaver Sergeant over on this side with a carbine. I've got a Reaver with a carbine over here on this objective. I've got a, car, a Reaver with a, a special issue bolt pistol and a combat knife over here. We've got another Ranger, uh, another Reaver with a carbine here and another Reaver with a special issue bolt pistol and a 
uh, combat knife over on this flank on this side. Over here, we just got a whole bunch of grots all the way along the front here, all the way back over here, and then we've got the boss guy back there. So um, that is going to be deployment for our two kill teams here. We are now going to move into the scouting phase. Uh, essentially what happens is you have three options. You can fortify, which means that you are allowed to place another uh, barricade on the table because you each start by placing two barricades on the table. You can place another barricade with fortify. That's number one. Number two is um, to uh, infiltrate, which essentially allows you to um, change one of your uh, activation tokens during the first uh, the first turning point. Uh, so if you put everyone, I've put everyone in engage, my opponents put everyone in engage, but say we wanted to change it to conceal, we could on one of our operatives if we wanted to at some point during the first turn there. Uh, and then the third one is going to be, uh, what is it, recon, which allows you to do a free dash action with one of your uh, operatives uh, before the first round of, the, at the beginning of the first turning point. Uh, and this will also determine who will go first in a basic rock, paper, scissors formation. So fortify beats infiltrate, infiltrate beats recon, recon beats fortify. Uh, so we, what we will do is we will reveal a die with the, t with the, uh, the pips on, or the, we'll reveal a die one through three to show what we were gonna choose for our um, choices there and then we will go from there. So, we are going to reveal it now. Uh, if there is a tie between this, the rock, paper, scissors, my opponent is the attacker and he will get to decide who will have an issue of going into turning point one. So, uh, we will now reveal it, one, two, three. Oh, we both chose number one, so we're both putting up another uh, barricade here into our deployment. So we'll put it there. My opponent is going to be uh, the um, the attacker, so he will have the choice of whether he wants to go first, which I think he will because he's got a lot of guys to go through anyway. Uh, so we'll see. Yeah, it might not make a difference. So we'll see how that all goes. So we'll come back to you after uh, the movement phase for, the, or we'll come back to you with the uh, the strategy step after we do our moves. All right, so into the uh, into the uh, strategy step here of the first turning point, uh, we both gained CP, so we're both at three CP to start off here. I then spent one CP on uh, Bolter Discipline, which allowed me to do two uh, shoot actions with bolt weapons, which all of my guys have bolt weapons. Um, then uh, we came to the target reveal step, so my opponent uh, revealed seize ground here. Uh, essentially, he is going to, uh, he chose this as the, the terrain, so he's going to have to have more APL at the end of the battle. Uh, if total APL of your friendly operatives is within uh, triangle of this terrain feature is greater than that of the enemy operative, score one VP. If you achieve the first condition uh, and there are no enemy operatives within uh, triangle of the terrain feature, uh, the total APL of friendly operatives within triangle of feature of yours is four or more, you score one VP. So you can score two VP uh, from holding that at the end of the game. I then had two target reveal step stuff. I did overrun. Um, so basically at the end of any turning point, if a friendly operative is wholly within each kill zone quarter and more than uh, square from the center of the kill zone, you score one VP. And if you cheat it on another uh, subsequent turns, you score another VP. I also chose retrieval here. Uh, so my opponent set up uh, that uh, that token over there, I can do the pickup, and if at the end of the game, at the end of the battle, if I control that, I score one VP, and if I'm carrying it, I score an additional VP for that. So uh, that is going to be it for. Uh, the strategy step, we'll come back to you with the firefight step. Uh, my opponent actually chose me to have the initiative here in turn one because all of his guns are only within um, sur uh, within red. So uh, he wasn't going to be able to do much if he hadn't. So we will come back to you with the firefight step with my first activation. All right, my first activation was my Reaver here. He claimed the ground over there on that objective. Then he moved over to this side, and he's just within six of that Gretchen right in the middle there. So I'm going to fire at him with my special issue bow pistol. Uh, I'm going to have uh, four shots here looking for threes to hit. All right, getting a crit and a regular uh, hit there. My opponent is now going to have two dice. Um, to his def well, his defense is three, but it's AP one, so he's going to have uh, two dice looking for sixes. Looking for crits. Looking for crits. Getting crits. zero crits there. So Gretchen, uh, Gretchen is, is dead because that is going to be three, four, so he's going to have seven damage. He's only got, uh, what is it, six, I think? Five. Five, yeah. So he's uh, he is out. My opponent's first activation will be to seize ground for one AP over here and then move up behind the barricade. And the second guy will move up behind this uh, barrier over here and shoot into my reaver up front here. So oh, hitting on fours here, uh, getting Stop. no hits there. So I will, I'm gonna be fine. And he can't even re-roll one of those if he wants to because all of the grots are not, you're not allowed to use 
uh, ploys on them, either tactical or uh, strategic ploys. So the only one you can use that I'm on is his uh, boss grot since we're since he's actually a boss knob. My next activation is going to be my leader who is going to move over to there and then he is going to fire first into the guy with the red hat over here. So I'm going to have uh, four shots hitting on twos because he is the sergeant. Okay, so that's going to be all regular hits. Um, no crits there for these. So now you have your uh, three six ups. Uh, not getting any of them, so he will be removed. And then I will do the same thing into the next guy next to him over there because I spent the bolter discipline. He can fire twice with his bolter carbine. Uh, that's going to be all regular hits again. Getting two this time, but only uh, going to be able to ignore two. So that's going to be uh, six damage, which is enough to kill him as well. His next guy over here is going to move up to the barricade and shoot into my reaver. Getting, getting two, crits, two and crits and a hit. Okay, okay, I see how that is. I see how that is. I'm gonna take the cover for the one regular save there, and then I'm gonna go for two more saves to make here. Uh, well, I'm looking for crits actually, so I'm looking for fill faces. Come on! Nope, not getting either of those. So that's gonna be, I think it's six damage. it might be six damage, which is not bad, not bad. Yeah, six damage, oh man, who knew? <laughs> and then his other grot over here is gonna do the exact same thing into him. Uh, not quite as successful, we're getting two regular hits there. So I'm gonna take the one regular save and then looking for uh, more saves. Making it there with that other three, woo! And now my guy over here is going to activate. He's going to claim ground with one APL and then he's going to fire into these two guys up over here. So we're gonna do uh, one into the spear guy first. Uh, four shots, looking for threes to hit. Uh, that is gonna be all regular hits. So now you have your three uh, six ups. Uh, not getting any of them, so he is gonna be out. And then into his friend with the pistol next to him. Uh, that's gonna be three regular hits, looking for sixes. Getting one, but that's still enough that's gonna take him out of action. The next guy to activate over here is gonna step up and then shoot into my leader. That one. Oh no, into this guy over here, the wounded guy. He's trying to take them all down. I see how it is. I have to commit. That's right, commit, full commit. <laughs> Getting uh, one hit. One hit. Doesn't matter, uh, it doesn't matter because I will take the one for the save from the cover. Bum, bum. And then his other friend over there is going to do the exact same thing over here. Uh, getting two, two hits, hits this time. So I'll take the one uh, save and then I will take two other three ups. Uh, oh, I thought I saw that first two that came up and I was worried, but no, he made it. He's good. And then my Reaver guy over here is going to activate. He's going to move up and then he's going to fire twice with bolt, uh, Bolter Discipline, firing into uh, the two guys here. So we're going to start on the edge over there. He's going to have four shots, uh, looking for uh, threes to hit. Uh, okay, so that's going to be a crit. That's, uh, that's right, the crit and two regular, so he can't, because uh, he only has the two dice to save there, so he is going to be dead. Never mind, if he rolls boxcars, he can live. No. No, he doesn't, so he is dead. <laughs> and then his second shot into the next guy next to him over there. Uh, okay, so that's going to be all hits, and it's AP minus one, so you only have two dice, so you can't actually yeah, can't save enough to save him, because two will definitely go through and kill him. His first activation is going to be this guy moving up here to shoot into me without having to move, uh, without me getting cover. So he's going to have his three shots looking for fours, and then getting works. one. And I'm like, oh, but no, no cover. I can still, I can still whiff this roll. Uh, no, I tried. You're I right. certainly tried, but no, I did get enough to make him okay. Second grot in this GA2 going in to shoot into him. Uh, that's going to be three hits. That's not bad. I need to make three saves, otherwise he's taking wounds. Three ups. Uh, no, I got a crit and one regular. Um, so that is going to be, um, yeah, just taking two damage there because of his regular shots there. And then my guy over here is going to claim ground there, move up to here, and then he is going to fire into this grot down over this side. Uh, looking for threes to hit with a bolt of carbine. Uh, getting two, <laughs> two crits and two regular hits. You get to claim one regular hit. Um, as an auto hit, as an auto one there. So we'll just have that just taken away there. And then you've got uh, two, two more six up saves. Boxcars to live. Looking for boxcars to live. No. No, so he is gonna be dead. And then to start it off, this guy now is going to claim ground over here and then shoot into my reaver over there. Uh, so that's gonna be a crit and two regular hits. Um, I do get cover, so I will take uh, one regular save. And then I'm gonna have two more saves I'm trying to make here. 
Uh, just make the one. So I will just take the three damage from the crit. And then another Grot's gonna move up and shoot into my Reaver over here. No cover on this one. Uh, no getting hits no on hits one. on that one, so no need to save. So now I'm gonna overwatch with my guy over here, who's gonna fire into the red jacket guy over here. Uh, hitting on uh, fours now because he's minus one hit because of overwatch. Uh, still getting two hits. Uh, AP minus one on his pistol there. So you're gonna have the two saves that you can make. No, not enough. So that red shirted guy is going to be dead. So now this guy over here uh, activated, moved up. He's gonna fire into my guy over here. That's gonna be one, one hit. hit. And right, then I'm just gonna sure. take it with the cover there. And rinse and repeat with the next grot firing, going into him over here. Uh, that's going to be three hits. So cover, I will, will take one. cover will take one. And then I've got two saves to make. Uh, make it a crit and a regular save. He's good to go. Woo! So then I'm going to overwatch with my leader here, which allows me to do a shooting attack, at which point I am going to reveal mark target uh, because I'm going to shoot into his leader over here. Uh, essentially, I'll go through, do the attacks, and instead of doing damage, I will just mark him for VP. So hitting on threes because he's minus one because of it being overwatch. Uh, getting a crit and a regular hit. So you've got your three. What's their save? Six, uh, four. Yep, you got four up. Four up, but you got three that you can do because it's uh, right. Because there's no AP on yes, this. Defense yeah. Three. Defense three. Right, okay. Good. So never mind. He actually blocked all of them. I don't think I can mark you then. I don't think. Hold on. Let's roll. We'll read it. We'll see what happens. Yeah, so reading over it again, uh, it says here, uh, complete the shooting sequence as normal, except that if any damage would be inflicted on that enemy operative, it does not lose any wounds and you score VP. So I wouldn't have got, uh, scored any, I wouldn't have uh, caused any damage to him, so therefore I do not uh, score the VP for it. So, all right, well done there. Well saved, Boss Grot. So now his Boss Grot over here is going to activate, move up here um, with his, uh, he's got two APL, so he's going to move up here. And then he's going to shoot his combi rocket, the rocket, into me over here, uh, into my leader. So, hitting on, uh, fours. Hitting on fours with the rockets. Uh, getting one crit and one regular. Uh, going to spend his, uh, C may as well spend a CP on him because he can. The Gretchen can't use it. All right, so that's going to be two hits and two, AP and AP minus one. So he's only have the two saves here. Um, do I get cover from there? One. So from that angle, I actually don't get any cover. So here we go. Let's see how this goes. I am uh, really looking for a crit because you might be able to one shot my leader, <laughs> which would be hilarious. The only rocket he found. Yeah, the only rocket he found. So no more of this, which is uh, pretty good because last time uh, we played against the orcs, he had a bunch of rockets that just like destroyed me horribly. So <laughs> real good time. So here we go. Looking for fill faces. Oh, that's going to be too regular. What's the damage on this? Uh, it is... Four or five? Yeah, four or five. Four or five? Alright, I'll just take that. I'll take the two regular and then just take the five damage from the crit, I think is probably the best way to go. Alright, so that's going to be the end of turning point number one here. Uh, at the end, uh, my opponent uh, claimed the ground on two objectives, uh, which is going to give him uh, one VP. I claimed on three objectives, which gives me one VP for two or more, and one VP for uh, for claiming more than my opponent, uh, giving me two VP. Neither of us scored any of our secondaries, uh, so leaving the score at two to one uh, to the Space Marines right now. Because this guy right here for overrun is just has like his back foot uh, behind the line in order to get into this uh, there, just barely. But he's still enough to be out. So uh, we are now going to roll off to see who will have initiative going into turning point two. I rolled a three, my opponent rolled a four, so it will be the orcs have the initiative going into turning point number two. Nothing. All right, so that's uh, moving into the strategy step here. Um, I, we both gained a CP, putting us both at three again. Um, I am then going to spend two CP, uh, one on shock assault and one on bolter discipline, allowing my guys to uh, do two fight uh, actions or two shooting actions with bolt weapons if they so desire. Uh, my opponent's not going to do any strategic ploys because only his boss knob uh, benefits from them um, and that's what we're going to do there uh, we then went to the target reveal step and no one had anything to reveal since all mine are revealed already and my opponent just didn't have any others to reveal so we are now going to move into uh, the firefight step my opponent's now going to activate his reaver uh, his reaver <laughs> his grot over here who's going to shoot into my reaver over there uh, so the first one's going to fire hitting on fours getting a crit just a crit um, so i'm now going to roll my defense dice i don't get any cover over there um, but oh, getting a crit, face. Phil Face will do it. Woo! Second verse, same as the first, right into him over there. With his two GA. 
Uh, getting one crit again. Again, looking for fill faces or double regular saves. How about two fill faces? I'll take that. That's doubly rude. All right, so I'm gonna activate my leader over here. The first thing he's going to do is going to be to shoot into his uh, boss knob over here, a boss grot as we are playing him here. So he's gonna have four shots hitting on twos. Uh, that's gonna be a crit and three hits. So your, my opponent now gonna have his three defense dice. Uh, just getting the crit, uh, but instead of doing the damage to him, I am going to mark him for a victory point for that. And then he is going to charge and do an attack, a uh, fight uh, action into the grot on the side over there. So I'm going to have four attacks looking for threes. You're going to have three attacks looking for fives. All right, my opponent got nothing, and I got two crits, uh, so he will be dead. And then this grot over here is going to move up and take a shot into my reaver over there. Getting one hit over there. So I'm looking for one three up. And I got it. And then this guy over here is gonna fire into my reaver over here. Nope. Getting no hits. And then my reaver over here charged into these two grots over here. I am going to, I've got the combat knife there. So we're gonna uh, fight first into the guy on the, our left over there. Does it make a difference really? All right. I crit and hit. So you got a crit and a hit. I got a crit and four hits over here. Uh, so we'll come back to you when we figure this out. All right, so what's gonna happen here is I am going to parry his crit with my crit, and then my opponent is going to strike me for one damage with his grot over there, and then I will just myrtle him with the rest of my strikes over there. And then I am going to fight again with uh, shock assault into the other grot there. These are going to be hitting again. I'm looking for threes. My opponent's looking for fives. Uh, fives now because you have no more uh, assistance, right? right? Yeah, you did get a crit. I did not get a crit. I just got three regular over here. Um, so, uh, one second. All right, yeah. So I'm just going to um, to stab him with my knife. He's going to stab me with his knife, and then I'm going to stab him and kill him there. And that two damage from that crit it was enough to uh, take me down to four, which is a wounded uh, reaver over there. And now this guard over here is going to shoot into my reaver. Getting two hits there. I'm gonna have my three, three up saves. Uh, getting two fill faces in there, I'm good to go. And then his second uh, his second G, uh, APL, he's going to move back over here. His second activation is going to be this grot over here, shooting into my guy again. Getting a crit and a regular hit. Where were the fill faces that time? Uh, so I guess I'll just take the two regulars to cancel out the crit, and I'll just take the, what is it, two damage? Three damage, Three damage for the regular one? So, yep. For the regular one? Okay. It's actually two, three, so I, I canceled out the crit with the two regular saves, uh, which means that I just take the regular sa uh, wound of two. Then I'm going to activate this reaver over here, who is going to charge up and into the f two grots on this side over here and fight into the guy on the left first. You Looking for th crits. You got two crits. Oh, stab. All right, I got two regulars, so we'll come back to you with that. All right, I'm gonna spend my CP, a CP to reroll one of those. Into a fill face, which is pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna have to think again. <laughs> All right, so thinking through this, the way we worked it out, if I tried to parry him with my crit and his crit, um, he would then stick me with this, and then I would just kill him with these two. Or if I stuck him with this, he would stick me with this, and then the next one would kill him. So regardless, I'm going to get stuck with one crit, and he's going to get uh, murdered. Yeah. So that does wound me, and into my shock assault, I'm going to attack again into the next grot here. So I'm looking for fours now. I'm looking for fives. You're looking for fives, and you got, got nothing. But I got a crit and a regular, so he will be dead. So now my opponent is going to activate his uh, boss knob slash boss grit, uh, grot. <laughs> Boss grit. <laughs> it's like a it's breakfast. It's like a breakfast side. The boss grits. Uh, he's the going one to, really undercooked. The, yeah, the one really. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's the boss grit. Yeah, the undercooked one that just like cracks a tooth there. Uh, he's going to come on in and charge into my guy, and then he's going to activate and fight here. Uh, so he's got a power claw. I've just got um, my combat okay, knives. Uh, so yeah, so I'm hitting on fours because he is wounded there. I hit you once and I crit you once. So he's got a crit and a wound. I have a crit and a wound. We'll come back to you with. And with the power claw, he's just going to use the, the crit to strike me, doing seven damage, taking down my reaver. 
Now my reaver back here is going to activate. He is going to fire into the boss knob over here, uh, looking for um, looking for threes to hit because he's not wounded. Oh, buddy. Okay. Uh, and then he's just going to use that regular to cover with him. Bolter discipline. Bolter discipline says rinse and repeat. Back into him over here. Cover again. All right. Well, no, I got a crit. Okay. So yeah, you got you got to make a save. So you can take one regular one as a save. And then you're just one, then you're AP just one. fishing for a regular one. This is AP one. Uh, not AP one. Not AP one. So you've got two. So you want uh, you want to keep one as a save yep. for cover, because all you need now is a regular save. Four up. Four up. Hey, ah, with a crit, crit, he is good to go, and he is fine. Into my opponents here. He's going to activate that grot there, who moved from over this way over to here, and now he's going to shoot into my dude bro back over there. Hitting on fours. Nope. No, nothing there. And then one of these grots here, we're going to go with, I guess, maybe the yellow one over there. Yeah, we'll go to the yeah, t-shirt guy. guy. He is going to attack into my dude bro, into my leader over here. I got a crit. You got and a crit hit. and a regular hit. And I got um, I got three, four regular hits here. So we'll come back to you with that. All right, so my opponent is going to strike with the crit, doing two damage to me there. And then I'm going to parry his other success with one of mine and then kill him off with the rest of them. And then my Reaver over here is going to fire into the boss knob. He's going to have his four shots looking for threes to hit. Uh, getting a crit and a regular hit. Uh, so you can, you're can you still going to be in cover there. So you take one regular save. It's probably the best bet to go there. And then you've got two other saves you want to make. Fours. Fours looking for. Getting two. So okay, yeah, do the two great. to cancel out the crit there. So you'll just take the three damage. So he's going to be at uh, 10 there because he's a resilient grot, a.k.a. a boss knob. <laughs> uh, but then Bolter Discipline says do it again. Uh, hit to him over here. So shooting again with the Bolter Carbine over here. That is going to be uh, two regular hits. So you're going to do one regular save, one cover, one cover save, and then you're looking for one four up. Getting, no. oh, none there. So he'll take another three damage there. And then his last grot is going to activate attack into me over here. Uh, I'm going to have no. a... Nothing, I've got a crit and like Kill. and four, so he just straight up ganks him. All right, so that's going to be the end of the turning point here. Um, my opponent is going to control two, have claimed two ground here because you can, you when you claim the ground, uh, it's claimed until I reclaim it, so I'd have to go and do an action on it. Um, then uh, I can, I still have claimed three, so that will get me two points to his one point, um, and. I have guys in four quarters of the battlefield, all more than square from the center of the battlefield, giving me a point uh, for uh, overrun. So that's going to be it for the um, the turning point number two here. We will now roll off to see who will have initiative going into uh, turning point number three. My opponent rolled a five, and I rolled a five, so uh, so I take it uh, initiative because I was second in the last turning point. So that's, it always goes to whoever didn't have initiative in the turning point. So we'll come back to you with the strategy step. All right, so the uh, into the strategy step here, we both gained a CP, putting me at one, my opponent at four. I'm then gonna spend one CP on Bolter Discipline, bringing me back down to zero. Um, we are not revealing anything in the target reveal step. Uh, so that is going to be it for uh, the strategy step. We'll come back to you with the firefight step. All right. So my first activation here in the in the firefight step is I'm going to move over to the objective over here. I'm going to claim the ground, and then I'm going to shoot into his boss uh, grot over here. Uh, so these are going to be looking for twos to hit because he's still not uh, hurt there. Oh, that's going to be two. You don't get any uh, cover there, so you're going to have three looking for four ups. Uh, make it two, so he is good to go. All right, then my opponent is going to activate his boss knob to charge into my reaver leader over here. Um, so, and then he is going to activate to a fight. I'm looking for two hits because I'm still not wounded. I got a crit and two uh, uh, saves there. My opponent has gotten uh, three regular hits. We'll come back to you with that. My opponent's going to fish uh, uh, fish for a crit. He's going to uh, reroll the other his other dice there. Uh, gets a regular hit though. All right, so the way it works is my opponent is going to um, strike with one of his hits there, doing four, uh, five damage to me with the Power Claw, uh, putting me down to one wound. I'm going to strike uh, with my crit, doing four damage to him, uh, putting him down to three wounds, uh, but then he is going to strike me again with the other one and take out my leader. And now my activation is going to be my Reaver back over here, who is going to fire into his leader over here. Uh, so I'm going to have four shots here looking for fours. Okay, getting two regular hits. 
So you have uh, saves, uh, four up saves to make here. Uh, no, not making them, but I'm not gonna do damage. I am going to mark you again for the VP. And then Bolter Discipline says, do it again. But with actual, but with actual bullets time. this time. Uh, so I'm gonna have four hits over here. Dice. Only has three dice, so yeah, you're not going to be able because yeah, he only has three wounds left, so uh, that is going to take him out regardless. And now my opponent's going to activate this guard over here. He's going to shoot into my reaver over on this side. Uh, going to get a crit, crit and a hit. I need to make a crit and a save or three saves. I make three saves. Time. That's what he needed. Woo! And then he's going to move over there. That's and then true. this guard over here is going to shoot into my dude, bro. So again, looking for fours to hit. Uh, getting one crit. one crit. So I need a crit or two saves. And I get two saves, so I am good to go. And then this guy back here is gonna activate. He's gonna shoot into the grot over here. Uh, that is gonna be one hit. <laughs> looking for one save. Six ups. Six ups. Uh, no. No, he gets it. He's good to go. But Bolter Discipline says keep firing. <laughs> Hold that but that but that uh, trigger down. Okay, that's a much better there. <laughs> three yeah, here. For... Yeah, but you can't because it's uh, these oh, are all regular hits. If you three, save three, yeah. you're gonna be no. He only no, gets the one, no, and he is dead. <laughs> In a uh, weird twist of fate, my opponent now can Overwatch, <laughs> even though he started with a gajillion little griblies. Uh, he's gonna Overwatch into me over here, hitting on a um, five, a five because of the five. minus one. Uh, uh, getting two, two crits. Two crits. Oh boy, is this gonna kill? This is gonna kill him. He's gonna die to Grot Overwatch, people. He's gonna die to Grot Overwatch over here. Come on, double fill faces. Don't disappoint your. Don't disappoint us all. Do it. Oh, I got the one. Oh, I have no CP. I have no CP. So he goes down to Grot Overwatch because he's only got the two there. How disappointing you must feel. <laughs> All right, so that's going to be the end of turning point three, right? Yeah, turn, three. yeah, turning point three here. Um, I uh, at the end of it, I do, I did claim one, two, three, and four, which will give me uh, three points because I control two or more. I claimed two or more. I can claim more than my opponent, and I claimed one in my opponent's uh, deployment zone, giving me three more points to get me to nine points. Um, my opponent uh, does not control two. So it does not control two. So he only claims that he only claims that one back over there, uh, which means that uh, he doesn't get any points at the end of this turn. So uh, that is going to be a score of nine to two to the Space Marines, and um, that is where we're going to call it because <laughs> he's got the two grots left. Two yeah, two grots does not beat two Space Marines as much as he did kill three. Reavers with all the grots just like plinking them away bit by bit. Most of, power Most of the power claw did crump two of them. The power claw did finish off two of them, but they were wounded from all of the grot shooting. So uh, yeah, so that was that was just that was just funny. <laughs> we just wanted to see how it go. Uh, it went. I think. A, yeah, I think it went approximately. Yeah, the fact that my guy, my reaver, died to grot Overwatch. You kidding me? How did we get that? Far? Yeah, I, I don't even think the apothecary is going to collect his 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 uh, gene seed because he's going to be like. You are a disappointment, sir. You, we are you cheated yeah. through here. <laughs> you must have cheated through all of the initiation. Somehow getting through, there's no way that should have happened. We're gonna we're gonna toss away this GNC because it is a failure to die to Grot Overwatch. You kidding me? <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was a ton of fun. It was it really was just hilarious. Just like just a bunch of giggles. <laughs> it was what it was. Uh, so we just memed it up and had a ton of fun with it. We the, what we learned was that uh, with the lesson we learned was that they kept it to just the four Grot to protect the orc players from trying to play too many grots at the end of the day. <laughs> But yeah, it was it was fun. It was it really legitimately was a ton of fun just just messing around and having a good time there. Especially when my reaver died to Grot Overwatch. That was just the 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 the, the, the piece de la resistance of this whole game. That was yeah, me too. This is the most I think I've laughed at a game in a long time. So uh, I hope you guys have all enjoyed this. I certainly have. I have been Phil the Glacial Geek as always. My opponent's been Harrison. Until next time, stay safe and have fun.